everybody. This first song I'm going to play is called North South, and it's from the album that I released uh, last summer called Human Satellite. Didn't you believe that I'd be coming home for you? How could you trade in what we had? The promises I made mean anything to you? Cause I've been up, I've been down But I never hit the bottom so hard I've been lost, I've been fouled But I never felt so alone I've been north, I've been south But I've never been here before When I look in the mirror I only see half a man Wishing you were here Remember Snowflakes in Headlights. You held me close, said that I was good at dancing. September, the leaves will soon be turning. I thought our love would be forever green. Cause I've been up, I've been down, but I never hit the bottom so hard. I've been lost, I've been found. But I never felt so alone I've been north, I've been south But I've never been here before When I look in the mirror I only see half a man Wishing you were here Oh yeah Wishing you were here Ooh, yeah. Wishing you were here Held my heart in your hands but ran so carelessly Your eyes used to make the world stop turning Wish our love could be forever green Cause I've been up, I've been down But I never hit the bottom so hard Been lost, I've been found but I never felt so alone I've been north, I've been south But I've never been here before I look in the mirror I only see half a man Cause I've been up, I've been down But I never hit the bottom so high I've been lost, I've been found But I never felt so alone I've been north, I've been south but I've never been here before I look in the mirror I only see half a man Yeah, I look in the mirror I only see half a man Yeah, I look in the mirror Oh, I only see half a man Wishing you were here Wishing you were here Wishing you were here Thank you. All right, welcome and thank you for joining us at everyone's favorite local radio show. We'll pack a local live on West Powers with 
Marcy Boku. Hey, Wes. Hey, how's it going? It's great. It's yeah, great. We it's, got a great show tonight. Yeah, it's a My double header, but goodness. Uh, and we have David Paul Martin with us. Yeah. yeah. That song, that first song, was really excellent. Thank you. Yeah, really, really liked it. It's great to be here. Which yeah. um, which album was that on? Um, that's on the only full-length album I've ever released. Last summer I released it. It's called Human Satellite. Human Satellite. Okay. Yep. Oh, that it, was it started out like kind of country-ish, you know, a little bit. I don't know if you like the comparison, but I'll you know, it. once yeah. once you hit the chorus and it just started hitting that beat, yeah. it totally changed direction. And that was really awesome. So for our radio audience, he's playing guitar and he's playing a bass drum and he's got a little tiny oh! tambourine oh. and it really is a nice sound. Thanks. I mean, it's really great yeah. that you can get that much power out of a song with one musician. And we were talking before we started about your name, David. You, you want yes. us to call you David and... We well, wanted to call Dave. you Dave. Dave or David. Dave or David. David. David, David. And I said Dave when I'm 40. Dave when you're 40. You asked me if it was a junior. Like, right. Or is, no. My, what's interesting is my dad's name is Paul. Oh. Oh. And his David middle name Paul. is Martin. Oh. My, Paul Martin. My last, I'm revealing this on, on camera, but my last name is actually Niami. Niami? Niami, yeah. Okay. So is this a stage name? It's then? a stage name, David, David Paul, Paul Martin. Martin. Yeah. Okay. But it's but it actually my sense. name. It's David Paul Martin Nemi. That's my two middle names. Oh, you have two it's middle names. It's hyphenated. Cool. So my dad is Paul Martin Nemi, and I'm David Paul Martin Nemi. So it's wow. like you kind of are a junior, but, but he not. just but kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In between. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start from the beginning. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Nina, Wisconsin. Born okay. And raised. Born and raised in Nina, Wisconsin. Um, yeah, I've lived there my whole life. This great music scene there in the valley there. Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. It's yeah. getting better, I would say. Yeah, so you, you're not only a singer-songwriter, and we'll talk a little bit about how you started out with that. Sure. But um, you're also a music producer. Yeah. And you run sound, and um, you yep. just kind of every aspect of the business, it seems like. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I dabble in a lot of it. Right. So did you produce your first album by yourself? Yep. Is that all like home yep, I recorded? Yep, I have a home studio. Oh, wow. It's pretty, it's pretty simple, like, uh, with as far as equipment that I own and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, the recording technology has come so far. Right. You know, anybody can, you know, open up their own bedroom studio. Um, but what it comes down to is really the mixing and just the knowledge of... Um, you know, sound and, and uh -huh. how to arrange things musically. Uh -huh. I think it really comes down to arrangement. Yeah. And music, like, basically garbage in, garbage out. Yeah. You know, a lot of producers, I feel like, try to fix stuff in the mix, and it's like, well, you know, if it's not good going in, uh -huh. um, you know, you're not going to get a good end result. So as long as you're, you know, you have good preamps and good microphones, and then you have a good performance, like, you know, after that, it's, it's uh, just the mixing and... I did have it mastered professionally by, by a guy in Milwaukee. Okay. Um, his name is Justin Perkins. He owns Mystery Room Mastering. So Mystery shout out to Justin master. for, yeah. <laughs> Mystery for Room Mastering. Yep, for mastering my okay. project. So he's done um, both singles that I released as well. So okay, so you have one full length album and two singles. And two singles. And, two singles. and we'll okay. hear one of those singles yes. later. Yep. Okay. So uh, is this uh, the producing aspect of it, mixing and all that kind of stuff, is that something that's self-taught or did, did you get some sort of educational background on that? Yeah, well yes and no. Um, I guess um, I, well, I attended UW Oshkosh okay. for right. recording technology. Oh you did? You were a graduate yeah. from that program? I haven't graduated. I just attended for two years. Okay. Before that I went to UW Fox Valley and was majoring in music there. So I was doing you know, ensembles and did all my music theory and all okay. the oral skills and all the music core music classes there. Transferred into Oshkosh, did some of their recording program, and then have just been taking a break for a while. Yeah. Okay. Just doing some of my own. Because you kind of got own. it down pretty much. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'm constantly yeah. learning. Yeah. You know, like you're constant. You are constantly learning. And I mean, I listen to music a lot. I'm like, how does it sound like that? You know, how do they get that sound? And um, huh. what kind of tricks did they use in the studio to attain that that really interests me huh and um, I, th I think it's interesting that at, you're a musician you're writing your music you're you're a very skilled player 
but you're also on that other side. You're doing both sides of it, and yeah. I think that's unique. I mean, yeah. I, I know there are people that do right. that, but you know, we're witnessing somebody who's doing a really good job and at he's it. I think, percussion and he's too, in Nina. And everything. <laughs> Nina, yeah, he's in Nina. Yeah, so shout cool. out to Nina. Yeah, for, it's awesome for being cool and raising me. <laughs> raising you? Yeah. Right. So is this something that you do full time? Um, well, no, I, I would hope to someday, but. Um, right now, I actually um, I lead music at a church. Yeah. And then I also run sound at a bar. Right. Is so, that the uh, Refuge Bar? At the Refuge Lounge. Oh, yeah. Refuge Lounge. Okay. Oh, that's how you guys met. Yeah, that's how we met. Yeah. Right. So cool. Hil uh, Hillary Reynolds and Marcy Buku came in and uh, and did their little anti up tour. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was mixing sound for them. So yeah, that's and you did a met. great job. Thanks. Except those ladies were laughing too much during our performance. The ladies always laugh. The ladies laugh in the front. Yeah, man. The, It's hard because it's like <laughs> you get round tables. This is, uh, this is like every night for me. Yeah, you know? yeah. I wish there was a button on the mixer to like make people shut up, you know, yeah. Yeah, and appreciate funny. what's going on up there. Well, there's not that many really listening places, though, I have to say. I mean, you go to a... You go to a pub or a bar, or a, that's a wine bar, right. and it is set up for music, but people just haven't really gotten it yet, I don't right. think. that yeah. Especially Appleton, place, I think it's just... Yeah, they're, they're so social, right. and they want to have fun and listen, but they also want to have a conversation. Right. So yeah. It's amazing to me, because people will come up after, because I've performed there a couple of times, yeah. and at other bars that are loud, and people come up to me and they're like, it was so great, you know, thanks for your music, and I just, sometimes I'm surprised they could even hear it. Right. It's like... Yeah. Weren't you just talking the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> you know, or whatever. <laughs> but, but they I guess, enjoyed it in their own know, way. <laughs> yeah, in, in their own way. So you have to meet people where they're at, I guess. That's right. And just kind of, yeah. uh, you know, you can't let it get you down as an right. artist because you just got to keep keep going. Right. I just listened to a podcast of an artist that I enjoy, and he was talking about touring and, and just the life of a musician. And um, uh he was just saying you can't let like one bad night right. or like even a string of four shows that went bad like get you down because he said it's so easy to get you know just down in yourself and depressed and question like am I even you know right. doing a good job or do people even like listening you know yeah well so, we like to listen so what do you got next yeah I'm gonna play the single that I just released okay called love doesn't have a color oh this is the one Wes was yeah, listening I, to yeah I listened to this three times earlier I really liked it yeah so All right. ladies and gentlemen David Paul Martin Thank you. What if everything in the world, thing in the world, turned one color? What if everyone in the world, one in the world, Looked out for each other Wouldn't even need the news, need the news To tell us how we've fallen Couldn't even make excuses, make excuses Now wouldn't that be something Like a car without an engine Like a band without a song an ocean without currents is a heart without the love A satellite out of orbit like the moon without the sun A stream without the water is a heart without the love When you're looking out for others, oh Love doesn't have a color You know they've always been around they got a noose around their minds Riding in the backseat, in the backseat They let the devil drive Easy to be afraid, to be afraid When all you see is hatred well, Maybe we can make a difference, make a difference If we'd stand up and say it like a car without an engine, like a band without a song An ocean without currents is a heart without the love A satellite out of 
orbit like the moon without the sun a stream without the water is a heart without the love when you're looking out for others oh love doesn't have a color oh it doesn't have a color no Like a car without an engine, like a band without a song, an ocean without currents is a heart without the love, a satellite out of orbit, like the moon without the sun, a stream without the water is a heart without the love. When you're looking out for others, oh, when you're looking out for others, yeah. When you're looking out for others, oh, love doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a color, no. Thank you. Welcome back to Wapaka Local Live. In the studio today, we have David Paul Martin. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and again, the, the, the name of that song was... Love Doesn't Have a Color. And, and that's a very powerful message. It's, uh, it's one that's timeless. If, you know, it's, uh, it's and timely. And timely. Very, very good, Marcy. Timeless and timely. Yeah, <laughs> of everything going on in the news today. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's kind of why I wrote it. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's a lot of divisiveness going on and... Uh, yeah, um, I was just on the way here, um, my girlfriend and I were talking about it and um, it was actually on a trip that we took to Tennessee and we were going through Kentucky and it was like, it was just, this was the experience that I had, like we went to this gas station and um, I walked in and I was told to leave. Why? I was like, I just have to use the bathroom, you know? And he's like, get out of my store. Why? Wow. It was so weird. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know if it was just because he thought I was coming in to steal something or what he thought I was doing. But I was just like, I just got gas, right? Yeah. <laughs> just like a normal person yeah. walking in. And he's like, you know, I got denied my right to use a bathroom. Wow. And huh. for like, like a, you know, at the time, 21-year-old, like, white guy like yeah. that's not something that happens every day yeah and so it was like it felt like a violation of my rights you know it was like what like yeah and i didn't know what to do i was just kind of like was petrified there for a minute he's like i'll call the cops if you don't leave and it was just like so out of the blue it was so weird and i was just kind of like very shaken by, by that yeah. experience you know it's a very strange world and we're in right now it was really weird and even when we were down there there was so much talk about just so much racial tension and so much like it was like this is 2017 and yeah you know here we are and then you, you wrote know. wrote the song and wrote uh, the song and yeah, yeah so did you think that he was just because you were an outsider he didn't want you in there and then oh. you were identifying with what it would be like if you were a person of color that that happens to every day or what's Maybe. behind that i mean i guess it's up for interpretation i guess like yeah you know, situation to situation. But um, yeah, I just thought about that, how people see each other and see, you know, skin color. And if you see it as like a difference or like a, like something socially, it's like, um, yeah, it's like, what if we were all just the same? Like what yeah. if everything just turned, I, the, <laughs> the vision that I get in my head when I sing it is like if everything just was like, blue or like green or something right. weird yeah. like that you know no, no more like black and white or you know different yeah. shades of brown but it's like what if everybody's just like blue you know yeah this would be weird and nobody yeah. would think about it because it was like oh well, this is just how it is you know? right right kind of comes from you know the pages of what john lennon wrote and imagined you know along the lines of that what if there wasn't you know, right. borders or right. yeah, religion that's or any of those things that divide people, right. you know. 
Yep. Yeah, it's a very powerful message. A great song. Yeah, Thanks. really good song. So obviously, your songwriting kind of comes from experiential. Yeah. Do you say, you know, do you, when you're writing songs, agree. is most of it relevant to your life, or do you? I mean, a lot of songwriters will say, I would like to write a song about this and such, and then right. it's a constructed song. Are your songs more in the, this is my life type experience songs? Um, or? I guess yes and no, it, it depends. And every song is different. Some songs are more, you know, about me or about somebody I know or about, you know, an experience or some of them might be, you know, somebody else's experience that I've observed. Okay. Or, um, uh, yeah, it's it's different. It's different for every song, but uh -huh. uh, you know, for example, the album that I released last summer, Human Satellite, it's a concept album. So there's actually a story kind of that goes through right. it. Right. Um, Can you tell us about that? The concept of the yeah, album? it's about an astronaut who gets lost, detached from his spacecraft in outer space. You know, he's floating away, and I was just kind of put myself in in that in those shoes, I guess. Like how, what would my thoughts be? What would my, you know? And so it, it starts out like, you know, with the title track, Human Satellite, and he's, you know, he's calling out for help and he's like, you know, very distressed, you know, obviously. And, um, and then it kind of gets into that phase where it's like, okay, like I know my oxygen is running out here. I gotta like settle down, right? <laughs> or else I'm gonna like, you know, die faster. Right. My chances of living are getting slimmer and slimmer as it goes, you know, time takes by. So like he kind of cools down, he's like thinking about everything and the second song is kind of more upbeat. It's called Drifter. Um, and uh, then the third song is called Focus and he's kind of it's he's almost like thinking about dying and about maybe eternity and he's kind of thinking about you know like these big questions you know and then and then the fourth song he gets rescued hmm. so that's like whoa Thank big, God. right big turnaround <laughs> right and then so he's headed back home and that's where you hear there's sort of this love story that gets back because he's looking forward to getting back to the girl that he loves and and then he gets home and everything is everything has changed everything is different than he thought and she thought like he died in outer space, so she like left him, and it's like super horrible. Oh jeez! Oh, no. yeah. So it's uh, like it's like this terrible, uh, bad ending. Terrible thing. Yeah. yeah. Were you in any but way? Then, okay. <laughs> but then wait. <laughs> oh, it's a cliffhanger. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So then he kind of goes through that like that grieving process of like losing, you know, something. It's like well, he regained his life, right? But he mm. lost the thing that he loved, you know and was looking for it. So everything's changed. And there's a song that's like, <laughs> it's super sad. It's called Everything's Changed. And um, yeah. I gotta go home and listen to uh, it. Yeah. You know. The ground, the ground, the blessed ground I once was lost, but now I'm found. All the air is filled with sound. Now that I'm back on the blessed ground. Uh, all of, uh, and then the crowds around are like a maze. I'm looking for my lover's gaze. Never thought I'd see the day. Has anything changed? Please say no. Has anything changed since I've been gone? Has anything changed? Please say no. Has anything changed since I've been gone? <laughs> like Jeez, he figures out. He I'm figures out. Cry. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the crying song on the album, and then. Very, very uh, poetic and simple. It's but, like a movie. But very intricate. It reminds at the same me of um, you know I was just at the Brooklyn Museum in New York, um, and they have this huge Bowie exhibit, and oh, a hallmark of Bowie. And, and I'm wondering if that was any influence on you at all. He did the whole. The whole yeah. He did that. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah that's yeah. Got, so that was definitely a thought. Similar that was definitely in my line. head. You know, of that, I, I, I listened to David Bowie, and like I, that song and that concept was cool to me. Yeah. He and so I think that's very where much started. of a concept guy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. seeing that exhibit, it was just, he was, he never just like sat around and wrote songs, but yeah. it was always like a big, huge thing. Yeah. 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 So that's an influence for you? That was you? definitely an influence. The whole space theme, I guess yeah. I've always been interested in space, but. Um, I, for a while I worked at a planetarium, 
which is like where they project the stars yeah. on this dome, you know, and, and teach Asha? people. Yeah, the planetarium at yeah. UW Fox Valley and teach people about astronomy and stuff. And so uh, we would do, in addition to the astronomy shows, we would do these, um, these laser shows that were purely like entertainment, you know? And we would play like, there'd be like a Pink Floyd The Wall show. Oh, and you'd, wow. And you like listen to like the whole Pink Floyd The Wall album yep. with like these crazy laser graphics. And do they still do that? They do it every fall, yeah. Oh you my gotta gosh, go you gotta out. go. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so <laughs> um, anyway, I listened to that album probably, you know, 100 times, Pink Floyd The Wall. And yeah. that's a concept album. That's exactly. Like, and just yeah. hearing how, you know, he, yeah. uh, how those songs are constructed and how they flow into each other. Right. I just was fascinated by that, you know, yeah. um, and how... It's like a modern-day symphony, Yeah, really. because yeah. in symphonies, you yeah. have these little uh, motives, right. you know, these musical ideas that they, they present return. themselves in the beginning, and then, you know, there's the, there's the exposition, the yeah. development, and then the recapitulation. Oh, I remember that from wow. music school. Yeah, yes. there you go. Um, any of my professors see this, they'll be proud, maybe. Um, <laughs> You retained that. But yeah, you can hear that in, in that album, The Wall. Like there are even like little right. musical even riffs on the guitar that like come back in yeah. certain times and it's like, oh I heard that before. So um, yeah, that was fascinating to me. So then that and then um, I think it all came from that song Human Satellite that I wrote. Um, and uh, I don't think it started even with that idea. Um, I don't know, I think it was probably just kind of a low time for me and I was like, um, I think I remember writing it actually at the place where I taught piano lessons for a while, I was like in between students or whatever, I'm just like uh -huh. sitting at the piano uh -huh. and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, uh, can anybody hear me? Can you see me up here? Drifting in the darkness beyond the stratosphere. The gravity's betrayed me and I'm all alone. Every day I float farther, farther from my home. And then like, when I write songs, I hear the parts that they come in, and it's, yeah. you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, like I hear the drums, I'm like, oh, I gotta like do that, and then So would you like to play that whole song for us, and? I could, but I actually have a different song I wanna play. Okay. okay. You gotta listen to the album <laughs> if you wanna hear okay. it. Okay. No, I think I, I think that's really cool. Now, where can people listen to that album, or where yeah, can they get it? You can, because I'm sure people are going to wanna say, they wanna find out the ending, and don't spoil it for us. Yeah. I won't okay. spoil the ending. Okay, but how can we get that album? I'll tell you it gets better, but... Okay, but, yeah. but that's it. That's all you <laughs> Spoiler can. alert. Um, yeah, you can listen to it anywhere you listen to music, where you stream your music, Spotify, iTunes, okay. Apple Music. Amazon. I think you can like, if you have Alexa, you can be like, hey Alexa, yeah. play David Palmer and Human yeah. Satellite. And she'll be like, okay. Huh. So that's so, pretty wild. So where are you going to play for us next? <laughs> I'm going to play a new song. Let's see, which one am I playing? I'm going to play, um, this is a song that's kind of random, but I, it's, it's brand new. It's, um, it's got a goofy title. It's called Octopus Hot Dogs. Now I'll explain. <laughs> I'll explain why. <laughs> so um, this is kind of a just an ode to my one of my best friends um, growing up. It's all about being a kid and how fast time goes by, and all of a sudden you realize like, oh, we're old now. You're and, that old. You're well, only 22. Right, but like you know, even as a kid, like all those childhood memories that you have, and and that's like not yeah. a part of your life anymore. And, right, and you're I moving get on, it. And it's like. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of teasing you because you know we're. But old. I think it's a universal. Thing. He's like, old, but I'm older. Yeah. That, you know? yeah. We grow up right. and we find out what are in hot dogs when you're an adult. Because when you're a kid, you're like, <laughs> oh, I love hot dogs. When you're an adult, you're like, Ugh. maybe that's also yeah a hidden There's meaning an behind the song. Yeah. There's really nothing in the song about hot dogs actually. Um, <laughs> it's just a name because we would we used to cut hot dogs lengthwise one way and then the other way and you boil them and then they come up like that, you know, and they look oh, like, oh, like right, right. little octopi, right? Yeah. So that's what it was, you know, that's okay. just like one of those things. So basically I wrote the song like writing down all these memories that we had together, like just different things that we would do and, you know, places that we went, just experiences and it's like okay. where, where did the time go? So, you know? so hot dog, octop octopus hot dogs. Octopus hot dogs. David Paul, Paul. Martin. Yeah. Thanks. Say 
since we were little kids in school and when our math was done we dream that we were pirates on that stream the woods behind your house became the world that we'd create that day we dress like ninja spies and run from imaginary foes for fun just tell me where did the time go Wish that we could always be kids. Where did the time go? We used to be so cool. I wish we didn't have to get old. In those days, we didn't have to get all A's cause we'd hang out at the YMCA Like monkeys in our trees all day Back when starting up the fire was fun And six became our laser guns We shot down all the alien invaders And there were no such thing as haters Tell me where did the time go? Yeah, I wish that we could always be kids where did the time go? We used to be so cool. Wish we didn't have to get old. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Dressing up for no occasion other than imagination building forts out of chairs and blankets the first time that i made it big on local news and we climbed that tree up to my roof rollerblading on the skate park ramps playing game boy in your mom's green van just tell me where did the time go yeah wish that we could always be kids where did the time go? We used to be so cool. Wish we didn't have to get old. Yeah. Wish that we could always be kids. Where did the time go? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking to the island on the frozen lake. Your house looked so small, we felt so far away. Shoving off in your canoe, we were Lewis and Clark. Or maybe we were astronauts heading to Mars. We hung our clothes to dry by the stove downstairs. But when we were together, we were half as scared. Racing to the playground in our thrift store shoes. Every day was an adventure that I'd spend with you. Just tell me, where did the time go? I wish that we could always be kids. Where did the time go? We used to be so cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I wish that we could always be kids. Where did the time go? We used to be so cool. Wish we didn't have to get older. Yeah. I wish that we could always be time go we used to be so cool homeschool wish we didn't have to get old thank you octopus hot dogs this thing fell off in the middle there. Thank you for joining us at Wapaka Local Live. We have a terrific singer, songwriter, producer. He does everything, David Paul Martin. Thank you. Well, not only does he do everything, but he does it really well. Yes, a terrific songwriter. Terrific One songwriter. of the best we've had here. Maybe the best. Yeah. Uh, what? No, you really are awesome. I mean, who, who comes good. up with a song called? Hot dog, hot dog octopus, octopus. octopus. <laughs> 
I mean, come yeah. on, that's good. That's good stuff right there. That's what, Thank that's you. what sells. No, it was awesome. So tell us a little bit about where you usually play. Where can people come and hear you? Where yeah. can they find out about you? I know you have a website. Yep, I have a website. David Don't tell Paul. me you're the web designer, too. I am the web designer. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> well, it's just a, you know, post site. That okay. Oh, well, it's really simple, Mars. Yeah, it's right. Like, it's not like I'm a website builder, you know. It's not like I'm coding a website. It's pretty <laughs> drag and drop, whatever, you know. But um, how, what, how do we find your website? DavidPaulMartin.com. Yep. I thought that's what yep. it was. Okay. DavidPaulMartin.com. You can go on there, and uh, you can click on shows or events, I think, and yeah. you can see all my shows coming up. Okay. Um, you can listen to the music on there. I think you can purchase the music on there, and. Yeah, Great. you you can also probably the best way to find about out about shows is like Facebook, right. Instagram, those kind of things. I feel like those are things that are like more immediately updated. Right, right. And then I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta update my website. <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you play at the Refuge occasionally. Yeah, I play at the Refuge Lounge occasionally, um, and uh, I'll be playing a show at Gibson Music Hall later okay. in the summer. Um, that's another nice venue in the valley. Yeah. By the way, it's not that far down the road, Wapaka. It's 40 minutes. <laughs> and then probably the biggest one uh, in August is Mile of Music. Yeah, of course. Me. So this yeah. will be my second year playing Mile. Where are you going to play? I don't know my schedule yet. You don't yet. know your schedule don't yet? don't know okay. yet. So yeah. you'll just have to plan on being at Mile of Music and uh, you know, getting the schedule and finding my name. Right. Coming out to That's whatever awesome. venue I'm at. And you're also coming back to Wapaka here? Yes. On August 18th, I will be at Arden Square. Awesome. That That's is really awesome. great. Yeah. yeah. We got a really great um, festival this year. We've got great entertainers, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm just going to put a plug in. Is that okay? That's fine. All yeah. right. So we've got everybody, I think, knows about Watopia, the big sculpture that we're building, which will be I don't know erected that. on yeah. Session Street on August 11th. It's a gigantic, crazy art project that yeah. is mm -hmm. just going to be spectacular. What it's is a, it? It's a big... Um, it's a series of... We're calling them pods, but they're like these wooden structures that... 18 different groups are making okay. and then we're going to put them all together and it's going to be a three-story sculpture Whoa. and then that's going to be our stage for the whole week and then that all ends up on the weekend that you're coming to the big festival. So I'll so be on that stage. You will be on the main stage. Um, with those giant things. You'll see the giant yep. things okay. from the stage actually. It's really cool. Yeah. So it's going to be really awesome. fun in Wapaka. Yeah. We're calling our town Watopia now. So. Watopia. <laughs> It'll be really great, but we'll be glad to have you back in Wapaka. Yeah, excited to be awesome. back. All it's right. Cool town. So one more song from you, sir. Yeah. I'm What's gonna it close gonna be? With my last song that I have for today. All, All right. right. Ironically, uh, it's called First. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I just wanted to thank uh, again Mark, Chris, Wayne, and Josh, the guys yeah. behind us, yeah. and our audience, and our audience, our and robust audience. And of course, Dave Paul Martin. Yeah, thanks Thank for you. coming out. Thank you, guys. It's been super fun. All right. I think this is my first time on a like a live radio TV show. Really? Yeah. We'll, we'll let you know when it's on. Yeah. <laughs> and right. we'll be broadcasting the show, and so we'll get I'm that excited. out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. All awesome. right. One Sweet. last song from David Paul Martin. All right. Woo! All right. The song is called First. And it's a song about a guy that thinks he knows everything, um, thinks he's got everything under control, and then he really doesn't. <laughs> I thought I was right, I thought you were wrong. So I put up a fight, then I'd sing about love. And just when I thought things were under control, I lost sight of you and I wound up alone. I think that I know the most when I find that I really don't know. I think that I love the best when I see that I'm really no better. I think that I grow the most When my knees hit the floor in the darkness I think I'm still learning I'm learning how to put you first The 
Remember that night You told me the truth You cut like a knife But I listened to you All that I built It came to the ground I said that I loved you Without making a sound I think that I know the most When I find that I really don't know I think that I love the best When I see that I'm really no better I think that I grow the most When my knees hit the floor in the darkness I think I'm still learning I'm learning how to put you first Every time I try, I just keep spinning around and around and around again. Now my heart's out on my sleeve. It's not hard to see. It was me who was wrong all alone. I think that I know the whole. When I find that I really don't know I think that I love the best When I see that I'm really no better I think that I grow the most When my knees hit the floor in the darkness I think I'm still learning Oh, yeah I think that I know the most When I find that I really don't know that I love the best When I see that I'm really no better I think that I grow the most When my knees hit the floor in the darkness I think I'm still learning Every day, every day I think I'm still learning Oh, yeah I think I'm still learning I'm learning how to put you first Thank you. Thanks, guys.